Welcome to the Clever Tap product video series. In this video, you'll learn how to create a single message web push campaign on the Clever Tap dashboard. To begin with, navigate to the campaign section from your Clever Tap dashboard. Now, click plus campaigns and select web push from the drop down list. As a prerequisite for running web push campaigns, ensure that you have the required browser configurations and integrations in place. Further, start by selecting the qualification criteria for your campaign. At a high level, you can either qualify users based on past behavior or live behavior. Click Done after you select your qualification criteria and select the conversion tracking checkbox if you wish to track the end goal of the campaign. For example, you can track the conversions for charged events for 5 days or even a week. Under the Who section, define your target audience. For example, if you want to target a segment of users who performed the added to cart event but did not check out in the past 30 days. Apply the filters here accordingly and click Done. Further, you can select a preset control group or make a custom control group for the campaign. You can also define the target cap for your campaign. For example, you can restrict the campaign if the target segment exceeds 5,000 qualified users. Click Done and proceed to the What section. Select Single Message from the Message Type and click on Go to Editor. Start by entering the title and message description. You can also personalize it by clicking the personalization icon and making it more personalized, engaging, and contextual. Make use of enticing messaging that entices the user to click on your web push message. Further, click the Add Image checkbox to upload an image for your web push message. You also have the option to paste the URL of the required image. You can also upload an icon for branding purposes and add up to two buttons for your web push message. In this example, we are adding a Shop Now button as a CTA to engage users. Enter the deep link URL for the button. This deep link is the landing page user lands on after they click the button. Ensure that you enter the deep link URL for the overall web push notification. This link redirects users to a specified link when they click on the web push message. Specify the time to live period and select the dismiss message checkbox to dismiss the web push message in case there's no user interaction within 20 seconds of delivery. You can also leverage the custom key value pair feature in case you wish to send custom data when a user clicks on a button. After defining the overall content, click Done and proceed. Under the When section, you need to define the campaign schedule and overall delivery preferences. Opt for Do Not Disturb if you wish to avoid sending messages during certain times of the day. Select the Cutoff checkbox if you wish to define a cutoff time. Clever Tap stops sending messages after the defined cutoff time. Click Done after defining cutoff time and you are all set to publish your campaign. Hit the Publish button on the final confirmation to publish your web push campaign. Well done, you just completed creating a web push campaign. Thank you for watching this video.